marches slowly in Halverston and area. Uh -huh. Especially when you've ordered something really cool from the back of your comic book, and it's coming by... <sighs> Snail mail. what every girl wants. Okay, buck up, Otto. Here's a plan. Since you get tongue-tied when you see Tabitha, why don't you call her? But she'll hang up when she hears voice. Not if you use this. Your Choice Voice brand telephone voice changing system? It's set on Super Suave. Here, uh, test it out on Lisbeth. You know you are going to be my science partner. Yes. Oh, this device is... Perfect, Captain. Look how it melts the females. Told ya. Now let's call Tabitha. Wait, maybe we should send her to Super Duper Suave just to be safe. Yes, good thinking, Otto. Hello? Oh, hi, yeah. Tabitha. <laughs> <gasps> no, that's not the Super Duper Suave setting. That's the Super Duper Dopey setting. And huh? I want to be your science fair partner. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Otto? Don't ever call me again! You may not be able to get near Tabitha, but your autocratic, automatic, auto rebuttal bot can! <laughs> I finished programming my message. Great! She'll never be able to resist the auto robot, especially if he's wearing 
this? You're a ring-a-ding-ding-ding brand-spinning let of bow tie? Swank! Greetings, beautiful haired girl. Uh, hi. Wow. What a classy bow tie. Have I seen you someplace before? The bow tie has charmed her. It's working very well. Yeah, a little too well. How much did you wind that thing up, Captain? I bring message from Otto. And that message is me, my science. Did it go well? If by well you mean so awful that Tabitha will never even look at Otto again, then yes! It was a huge success! What's happening? I don't know. She slammed door, and now she's pulling shades down. <sighs> Perhaps this is a sign of her passion, no? I am going to ask her. Huh? Otto, as a girl, I can say she is definitely not passionate about you. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Uh, maybe I should work on both problems at the same time. Ow! Ooh. Aha! With these! Super suggestion brand Hypnodisks. I've got the whole line. From dog training to lose weight fast to anti-love and anti-hate. Yes! If you use the right ones, you can make Tabitha stop hating Otto and Otto stop loving Tabitha. Then they'll have a nice passion-free friendship, like we do. Um, yeah. Just make sure you don't mix the discs up. Are you still here? Hey, guys, look at this. <laughs> cool. Cool. Now, when I snap my fingers, you are going to feel very differently about each other. Each other. <sighs> My one true love, let us make beautiful robots together. <laughs> Not if you were the last little freak on Earth. What happened? Long story short, not your greatest success. My beloved, come away and eat onions with me. <sighs> Onion breath? Get away! <laughs> Ay, 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 love you, Tenita. Come to Otto, my darling. Huh? There she go. Huh? Why is she on the wrong side of the door? I cannot bear it. All I've done is make things worse. Don't feel bad, Captain. Maybe superheroes just aren't good at solving love problems. Maybe you just don't have the nose for it. Nose for it. That's genius! Otto, come with me and bring your nose! I don't know about this, Lisbeth. Otto could be out here, anywhere. You know, people are always saying that if you want to make friends, you have to be yourself. And, well, nothing shows who Otto really is more than this. <gasps> <gasps> Wait a minute. How does he do that? You know, when you get past the gross factor and think about it from a purely scientific perspective, he's amazing. He's beautiful. He, he's a science fair project. Come on, I have to study you. So, as you can see, next to Otto's tiny brain, we discovered a fist-shaped cavity that allows him to do this very special, yet very gross thing. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> this wasn't the hand, was it? This hand will never touch boogers again, my little onion blossom. <laughs> Genius way to solve two problems at once, Captain. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm glad everything worked out. Uh, but I'm on another really important mission here. Okay, which one of you science geeks can invent something to get these goggles on? And as our heroes staggers off, we must ask ourselves, is 
love blind. Yes, love is really, truly blind. <laughs> Captain Flamingo! Looking out for kids in a big, big way. Flamingo supports wildlife everywhere.